This is my final video of 2022 and I thought I would do a little roundup of the year before I take a little festive break over the next week or so, ready to come back in 2023. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing really well. This video is coming to you a little bit earlier than normal because our normal posting day is Sunday and this year, or this month, Sunday falls on Christmas Day, so I thought I would do this a little bit earlier. It feels a bit weird to post something on Christmas Day. Um, so I thought I would do a little roundup of the year, some of my favourite things. Andy has got a few questions for me, and then talk a little bit about what we might be thinking of and planning for next year. But before I do, I wanted to officially introduce you to Harold, our little mascot. If you haven't noticed, Harold is hidden in a lot of our videos from the past few months. I made Harold about eight years ago and gave him to Andy, my husband, who thought he was the cutest thing and he sat on Andy's desk for the last seven or eight years until Andy started helping me with videos and we decided to pop Harold in. So if you spot Harold, make sure you um, let me know in the comments and tell me that you've spotted him. He's very cute and yes, he's my little mascot. So he's going to sit right here. My favorite box of the year is a really tricky one to answer because I love every single box that I put out. I put a lot of thought and a lot of detail goes into all the boxes, but I had a look back over the website and all the boxes that we've done the last 12 months. And I think my absolute favorite that just pips the others to the post was September's Honey Honey box, um, which had this gorgeous fabric in the classic and mini boxes, which is a waffle print cotton jersey. It was so different from anything we've had in the boxes before. So I just thought it was lovely. And I also really loved the luxury fabric, which was an atelier brunette fabric and that was that beautiful okra viscose that I made Atelier the Buttons Marnie dress out of. And then also we did the collaboration that month with Liz Harry and she made us some buttons and it was just, everything just came together and it just made what I think was my most beautiful box of the year. But like I said, I loved each and every box that I put together. So, but that was my favorite box. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and give two favorite makes from this year. One is sort of my favorite make that is more dressy, and then the other one is probably my most worn make. My most worn make is definitely this one. This is the Billy sweatshirt that I made using the waffle cotton jersey from in September's Honey Honey box, which I was just talking about. I wear this jumper probably two or three times a week since I've made it. I'm definitely gonna make another one. I have some of the dark blue fabric left that is exactly the same as this one. And I definitely want to make another one of those. I just love it, I'm just so happy with it. Um, and it's so comfortable as well. My favorite more dressy outfit that I made was the Pauline Alice Ibby dress, which I made back in March using a Lady McElroy viscose. It took about five meters, so there was a lot of fabric involved in that one, but it is the swishiest thing I've ever made. Um, and there was a lot of gathering. Um, if I if we, we'll put some video footage in from a previous video and you can see just how swishy it is. And I made it to where to London to the new craft house party, their first party that they did post lockdown. Um, so it was a special, extra special make as well because it was for a little dress up to get together with some lovely sewists and a little trip to London and everything like that. So it was really nice and I, yeah, I just love that dress. So this again was a really tough one because we've got Gemma, Laura and Esther who all receive the fabrics from each of the three boxes on like a rotation each month and make something to photograph and write about for the magazine. And then Tamlin, who gets the fat quarters in advance and does a little project. 
So there was a lot of outfit posts and project posts to sort of have a look through and decide which was my favorite. And they are all amazing. The, what the girls come up with, I am honestly blown away each month, but I had to pick one favorite of each one. So I'm going to start with Gemma, who in October made a gorgeous Tilly and the Buttons Lyra dress using the Lady McElroy Cobra Corsage fabric that was a really, really lightweight fabric. It was a visco shelly and it went into the Hocus Pocus theme boxes. And it just looks so beautiful and the fabric is gorgeous and the, the style just suits Gemma so beautifully. Um, so that was my favorite make of Gemma's. My favorite make from Laura was the Matilda dress by Megan Nielsen that she made back in May, I think it was. Um, it was the Darling Buds of May luxury box from, and the fabric was from Rooted. So it was a beautiful white, crisp white cotton with just a green wavy leaf print. So it was super subtle, super, it just looks so classic and chic. And Laura used some contrast fabric as well for sort of the details and it's a gorgeous, shirt dress and it just looks absolutely stunning on her. My favorite make from Esther was Vogue, just I've got my notes here, Vogue 1734 that she made in June using the Lisa Taylor fabric that was in our Blooming Beautiful boxes back in June. Again, just another stunner, perfect for the summer. The fabric was beautiful. Esther looked beautiful, just all together just looks absolutely gorgeous. But like I say, the team works so hard and there are some times when the fabric doesn't get to them as soon as I would ideally like. So they work really hard to make something in a very short space of time. And for that, I am very grateful. Um, my favorite project that Tamlin came up with using the Fat Quarters was definitely the oven mitts that she made using the cherry picking fat quarters that we had in the Darling Buds of May box. The, the oven gloves were just a little bit more, um, I don't know, I don't want to say a bit more in depth or anything. Some of the projects, all the projects are really beautifully simple and quick to make, but the oven mitts were just a little bit extra special and everybody loved them. There's lots of people have made them and posted about them on Instagram and made them as Christmas gifts. I've made them as Christmas gifts and I've made some for myself as well, and I absolutely love them. So that was my favorite project from Tamlin. But again, Tamlin comes up and continues to come up with some really awesome projects for the Fat Quarters. So that's all my top team makes from 2022. So every month I trawl through everyone's posts on Instagram and Facebook and choose one person as the make of the month um, and they get their the next box as a gift and they write a little article which goes into the magazine. And honestly, everything that you guys make blows me away completely and it was really hard to try and think of one that particularly stood out, but... I have managed to pick one and it was made by Helena who is at Tawny and Ginger on Instagram and she made a really stunning Jennifer Lauren handmade sorrel dress using the strawberry print cotton poplin that went into the Darling Buds of May box. I think I should have maybe chosen the Darling Buds of May box as one of my favorites because I keep referring back to that one but it was just so beautiful she made it for I think it was a garden party or maybe the jubilee party um so it was a really beautiful like 50 style I think it was a shirt dress and then she also used the fat quarters as the facing which um the collar sort of sits open so you can see the fat quarters as well as a really gorgeous detail and I just think it was so stunning and how she managed to make a full circle skirt out of two and a half meters of fabric I do not know but she did, and it's beautiful. <laughs> so there are loads of things that I've been really, really happy with. I think the boxes have really um, developed really lovely. I've loved, you know, putting those together. But I'm so proud of how me and Andy together have worked on improving the quality of our YouTube videos, 
and being able to pump out a video once a week, mostly. I think there was one week that we missed because of illness, but mostly we've done one a week. And Andy's worked really hard on the quality and all the editing, um, so well done to Andy for that. But I'm really proud that we've, I've, you know, started doing um, fat quarter sew alongs and tips and tricks and things like that. So I'm really, really enjoying making these videos for you guys. Um, same on Instagram, I've been working hard on sort of getting my head around reels and Pinterest and things like that. And I and all small businesses really appreciate all your love and support on social media. It really helps us get the word out there. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm super proud of how that's come along and yeah, long may it continue. <laughs> So 2023, what have we got coming up? Obviously the boxes are gonna continue to be amazing. That goes without saying. And I'm hoping to continue to make videos and things for you guys. But I was having a little chat with Andy the other day and we came up with some ideas of things that we might like to work on over 2023 and to develop. And one of those things was to kind of branch out into facilitating sewing groups and sewing circles and sort of getting um, one person in different regions of the country to host them, but we would help them to host a sewing circle or a sewing group and, you know, finance and things like that, get them set up. Um, and it'd be like a Sew Haley Jane sewing circle. And then maybe I could go on tour and come and join your sewing circles and things like that. So if that sounds interesting to you then let me know in the comments because if you guys are up for that then I definitely would like to work on that. So I want to take this moment just to say a huge thank you to a few people but mostly to the team that come and help me pack the boxes. I have an absolutely amazing team of ladies who come and cut the fabric, who pack up the boxes, who sort things out. I say ladies, I should mention my dad also comes and helps out too. Um, and everyone works so well together, everyone's so lovely. And yeah, it's just a real buzzy environment. When we're in here packing the boxes, we've got the music on, the tea, the coffee is flowing, and it's just a lovely place to be and to hang out and to sort of just, yeah, just chill out. So, but, a huge, huge thank you. These people work so hard to bring you the boxes and to pack them up and make them look beautiful. I may be a bit of a stickler for details. Obviously, once the boxes have gone in the post, we have no say in how they are handled, but when we pack them up, we pack them up so beautifully. So I wanna say a big, big thank you to them. I also wanna say thank you to you, my lovely YouTube viewers. And of course, to my subscribers, I obviously couldn't do this without you. So thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to the boxes over the last, well, over the last six years, but definitely over the last year. Um, yeah, it's been good and long may it continue. Happy Christmas, everyone. And I wish you all a really beautiful new year. I am signing off now for a week or two and I will be back in January with some more awesome content for you. Lots of love, everyone. Happy Christmas. See you soon.